I have no reason to be on this bench. I just stopped because I thought the ad was kind of amusing. One hundred and ninety pounds. I guess I'm just always gonna be fat. Actually, it's because we had leftover Easter dinner last night. Mashed potatoes and stuffing are not good to the waistline. Hopefully it'll come off in the next couple of days. I have an amusing story for you about me being an idiot. But first, here's a clip of this guy being an idiot. You know, you had a, you know, someone as despicable as Hitler who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. I got to admit, my first reaction, I didn't think about the chemical showers. I just rolled my eyes because he was invoking the name of Hitler again. But this right here, we're doing different types of cold brew. And when we figure out the perfect way, we'll do a video and show you guys. But anyway, it took the correspondence a while for them to figure it out. Several of them asked questions and it took about 10 minutes before Cecilia Varga from ABC News asked this question. Cecilia. Thanks, I just want to give you the opportunity to clarify something you said that seems to be Thank gaining you. some traction right now. Uh, quote, Hitler didn't even sink to the level of using chemical weapons. What did you mean by that? I, I think when you come to sarin gas, uh, there was no, he was not using the gas on his own people the same way that a shot is doing. I mean, there was clearly. I, I, I understand your point. Thank you. I uh, thank you. I appreciate that. There was not in the in the. He brought him into the to um, to the Holocaust Center. I understand that. But I'm saying in the way that Assad used them, where he went into towns, dropped them down to innocent into the middle of towns. It was brought. To, so the use of it. And I appreciate the clarification there. That was not the intent. So I used to own this retail store, and we sold pool tables and arcade games, pinball machines, and cue sticks. And one day this lady comes in to buy a cue stick. Now, mind you, I had had this store for several years, and I had been in sales since I was like 14 years old. So selling things was not new to me. But anyway, she comes in to buy this cue stick, and she haggles with me on the price. And this is not the first time that I've said this, but she goes to haggle with me. Now, I was like 25 years old at this point, and nobody had ever called me out on saying this before. Nobody had ever said anything to me, which, how I made it to 25 and no one had ever said anything is just astonishing. But anyway, she goes to haggle with me and, she, and I say to her, this is embarrassing. I don't like, uh, I'm not proud of this. It's funny in retrospect. Uh, but she says, uh, <laughs> I say, you're not going to Jew me down on the price, are you? And there's a pause and she goes, what, what did you say to me? And I was like, you're, you're not going to, you're not going to do me down on the price. And in these moments, similar to Sean Spencer's moments, I think up there on the podium, I'm processing price me chew. <laughs> And I realized <laughs> what I'm saying and what I had been saying all these years that nobody had bothered to catch me on. I know you're sitting there thinking, all right, he's an idiot. <laughs> what is he thinking Jew means? But by the way, I'm taking the comforters in to get laundered because they're too big to go in our washing machine. It's like the term Jimmy something open or Jerry rig something or chip away at it or get gypped, which I guess is a problem for the gypsies. Are the gypsies still in a, an offendable group? Are they still gypsies? Anyway, but like chip away at something. Does chip get offended or Jerry rig? Like I'm about to Jerry rig this into a dog pan. I feel like I got caught talking on the camera about that OSH employee 
they're probably like, go see what that guy's doing on aisle seven. Anyway, I'm gonna try using this as a litter box for uh, Tika. Uh, she doesn't seem to really wanna go out here, so I'm gonna put some dirt in it and hopefully that'll improve it. Um, my point is, is uh, I had just never really given that term any thought up to 25 years old. It's amazing that I made it that far and nobody else was just like, you can't say that. Um, but as soon as that woman said it, I realized what, it, what the term meant and what I was saying and I never said it again. Uh, by the way, she didn't buy a cue stick, so I guess that's what happens when you offend people. The big difference here is, is I'm not Sean Spicer. I'm not the Speaker of the House. You would think that those things should be vetted. I figure there's like someone behind the scenes that as soon as he goes off book, they're like, oh no, no, he's talking about Hitler again. Oh my God, what are we gonna get in trouble for? Anyway. I have no reason to be on this bench. I just stopped because I thought the ad was kind of amusing. But while I'm here, I want to address a uh, heckler or a, uh, a bad comment. Uh, usually when people leave mean comments, I just delete them because life is too short. Why, why bother with them? But this one I thought was kind of funny. This guy, Mancorn D, watches our Rodeo Drive video, and then he writes, you dumb idiots, what a stupid vlogs. Now, not to get too much into the grammar that he used, but okay, so that's fine. Normally I would delete that. But then a few minutes later, on our Calico video, he writes, you dumb idiots, you're trying to be funny. Alrighty. So then a few more minutes go by, and on the bikini vlog, he writes, even though she looks good, her, your plots are idiotic, you guys suck. And this cracked me up, because he watches one video, or she, I think it's a guy, he watches one video, and he's like, I hate this, you, 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 know, you guys are idiots, you suck. But then he's like, maybe they don't, let me watch another video. So he watches another video, and he's like, you're trying too hard. Well, yeah, you, we're trying. We're putting in an effort. People should try at things. But then he's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should watch another video. So then he watches another one, to which he's like, you guys suck. And at this point, I don't know, maybe he left and maybe he's like, that's the end of it. You guys suck, it's over. Or maybe he watched another video and he was like, oh, okay, these guys aren't too bad. He just didn't comment about it. Anyway, thought it was amusing. I used to pronounce it YMI. Then one day Deanna looks at it and goes, it says yummy. But, but, I feel like I said but a lot in this vlog. But. Um, but, yeah, but. exactly. But I guess the real question here is, is have you ever said anything stupid and idiotic like that? But. Comment below. Dog walk, uh, 1.5 miles at a 22, 23, 24, 25 pace. I don't know. I forgot to turn this on. So uh, now let's do some coffee taste testing. Woohoo! I may trick you and give you the same one more than once. Oh, great. So all you're gonna do is better one, better two. Bring it on. So here's here's your first one. Take a sip. Do you want a little more of the other one? One was weaker. Better one, better it's two. two. What? Better two. Better two. One. Oh. Yeah, one. Okay.
I think two, but let me go one again. That's really close. Probably one. That's really close. Two has more flavor. Two. Two. One. Two. Are you giving me the same ones, like the same? I don't know, maybe. One? No, it tastes so different. Okay, they're all starting to taste just like Fine. we run together. One, two, two. two. One. Uh, I need to cleanse my palate. Two. One. You just handed me the exact same glass twice, didn't you? No. One. Okay, Two. you, without a doubt, preferred Starbucks that we just got from the Starbucks store that you sipped in the car and thought was too strong. It's that. Which one did I take? Taste? I'm like, mm, nice. There was one where I was like, oh, that's good. This is the original batch that we had made. All right. Okay. You didn't like it at all. Um, this is batch number two that you liked Starbucks and then you liked this batch, which was made uh, five ounces to 40 ounces. You thought this was too weak, which is this one right here, mm -hmm. which was made five ounces to 40 ounces, but it's a different style pitcher. But you liked it, but you thought it was too weak. Mm -hmm. This was made just like the original one, um, the same ratio, but this was, uh, instead of being made with cheesecloth, this, this was made with cheesecloth. This one was made with that new little bag. And then number three, which you hated as well, this was made with cheesecloth identical to the first one. So three and one should have tasted the same, it was just in a smaller batch. So that that you used to love, that you liked so much before, you didn't like now, that super yeah. dark one. This is made the same way with the bag, you thought was okay. That one over there you liked but thought was weak, and it was Starbucks and this pot that you liked the most. Sweet!